Hi, this is Brother K, and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Precious one, I'm about to give you some keys to unlock some divine blessings into your life to change some of you, your destiny. And this is a divine revelation. This is a revelation, and if you will act upon it in faith, you will see a turnaround in your life and destiny. I should pay particular attention to the instruction which I'm about to give you. And if you only believe it and act upon it in faith, for one time Jesus Christ said to somebody that if only you believe and not doubt, all things are possible. All things are possible if only you believe and not doubt. So in the kingdom of God, it operates with faith. And once you believe in the word of the Lord, and you act upon it in faith in our Lord Jesus, you will begin to pull down the treasures of heaven in your life. We are in a day and age where it's becoming increasingly difficult for everybody. Economically, financially, putting bread on the table is becoming very difficult for even some. Why? Because we have people with doctorate, masters, bachelors, with experience and have no jobs. And so now, to even get food on the put food on the table, to be able to pay the bills, to be able to afford car and no, it's become a challenge. But there is always hope. There is always hope in Christ because He makes ways for the children of God where there seems to be no way. There was a time that there was famine. The Bible says God, Jehovah Jireh, who is our provider, made a way for Elijah. He allowed ravens, birds, to feed him in the morning and evening with, with bread in the morning and meat in the evening. And there was a brook, there was a water which nourished him. Then there was a woman who was at the point of eating her last meal to die. And Elijah came into contact with this lady. Elijah blessed her, her oil, and there was multiplication in her household. And she was sustained throughout the whole of the famine. And so what you need is divine blessing in this economic hardship which we are going to be seeing high inflation and things are going to be much more tough and difficult as a child of God you have to operate with divine favor divine blessing upon your life in order to survive these end times that's why David says that the, I lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He who puts his trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. His name is Jehovah El Shaddai, the God who supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. El Shaddai, the all-sufficient God. El Shaddai means that the double-breasted God. He has no the breast of a man. The more the child sucks on the breast, the more the mammalian glands begin to pour out more um, milk god never runs out of resources so why are so much christians and believers struggling this is not prosperity gospel some people are struggling with just the basic necessities of life basic shelter basic food basic bills they are struggling and it is not the will of the lord for you to be borrowing, for you to be in bankruptcy, for you to be in debt, for you to be always lacking and wanting. Always, always you are in need, you are not happy. Because you don't know where, how you are going to pay the next bill. Always late, late fees. Always your credit, negative, negative. God's blessing. God's blessing. It is God who gives us power to make wealth. It is God who bless us and has no sorrow. Today, I want to teach you a key to unlock divine, heavenly blessing upon your life. And that is, you, I want you to teach, teach your children how to pray the prayer of Jabez. You are about to teach your children. You know how our children have open schooling. They are all excited about going to school and all that. Teach them the prayer of Jabez and as part of their responsibility in the morning before they go to school 
they pray the prayer of Jabez and then before they go to bed when they are praying as part of their prayers they pray the prayer of Jabez for the entire family for you and for your spouse and see the effect that will begin to transfer on your life now let me open you up to the revelation when you and I read Genesis chapter 21 verse 11 sorry Genesis chapter 21 verse 17 you remember that when Hagar and Ishmael were being sent out by Abraham Abraham gave them food and water to be on their journey to leave because Hagar was having conflict with Sarah and Sarah said to Abraham cast that woman out and his son Ishmael when Israel when Isaac came Ishmael had to go when Isaac comes Ishmael has to go Isaac comes to fulfill his rightful place so now Hagar and his son Ishmael the, um, the son of Abraham are now departing from their dad and Abraham being a good father gave enough food and water to Hagar and Ishmael but the Bible says that in the middle of the desert they ran dry of water and they were thirsty and they were about to dry, um, die out of thirst that is how far man's help can sustain you when you put your eyes on man, they will they, you, you'll be put to sin. You'll be disappointed. That's what the Bible says, that curse is anyone who puts his trust in man. Today, many people are putting their trust in man. They are trust in people. That's why they are, they are disappointed in life. We, one time, we put our trust in Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Change is coming. Yes, we can. Today, you can have a doctorate, a master's, a bachelor's, and yes, you don't have a job. I'm not talking about against the Democrats because tomorrow if you even vote for the Republicans when Bush came he made it much more worse Bush and Mitt Romney people they will make, they will make it much more worse and even with the Obama administration the Democrats they are also struggling to help us what I'm trying to tell you I'm, I'm a political atheist I don't believe in the Democrats the Republicans or the Independents I am like David I lift up my eyes unto the Lord from whence cometh my help? He who created the heavens and the earth, he whose name is Jehovah El, El Shaddai, and Jehovah Jireh supplies all my needs according to his riches. I am under the influence of the heavenly economy and not what the politicians are doing. When you put your trust in God, whether it's Democrats or Republicans or Independents, God will always take care of you. Even when there's no job, God will favor you and give you a job and supply for you. So I'm saying that Abraham gave his best for Hagar and his son Ishmael, but they ran out of water. And now they were at the point of dying. And the Hagar, the mom, seeing the son dying of thirst, was left the son and said, I don't want to see him die. I'd rather move on. I don't want to see my son die. And he, she was crying. She was praying. She was crying out to God. And the child also was dying and was crying out now this is the revelation and the Bible says Genesis chapter 21 verse 17 and God heard the voice of the lad and God heard the voice of the child when children pray because they are very innocent and very very innocent God quickly hears their prayers that's what the Bible says that do not prevent these children from coming to me for theirs are the kingdom of God. If you want to come to the kingdom, you have to be like a child. So when you can teach your children how to pray the prayer of Jabez, and they begin to pray it day and night for you, because of your children, even if you don't deserve it, because some of us, we are still having unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, jealousy, we are still worldly. So we, we sometimes God cannot even bless us because of our sins, but because of the sake of our children, God will be merciful to the family and make a way for you. I'm not giving you the legal right to keep on sinning. You have to repent and live a holy life and so that the blessing of God can come upon your life. For the Bible says that this this book of the word, this book of the word of God should not depart from you, that you may meditate upon it day and night, that you may make your ways 
prosperous. You may make your ways prosperous. When you and I meditate on, upon the word of the Lord and we obey it and live it and shine away from sin, we make ourselves prosperous. We will be like a tree planted by the streams of water which use its food in season. It doesn't talk about the economy. It doesn't talk about the Democrats or the Republicans. It talks about those who are living and obeying the commandment of God. They shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water which use its food in season. You will always prosper under the economy of heaven. So the Bible says that hey God, and God heard the voice of the Lord when your children begin to pray, God will hear them. And the angel of the Lord called Hagar out of heaven and said to her, What ails you, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the Lord where he is. God heard the child. Hagar was crying, but God heard the child's Ishmael's prayer. Arise, lift up the Lord. Hold him with your hands. For I will make him great nation. I'll make him of a great nation. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. When your, big, your children begin to pray for you, whatever blessings you are unable to see, because there was a well of water right before Hagar, but she couldn't see it. And she was going to die out of test. But when the child's prayer cry was heard, God heard them from heaven and opened up her eye. Some of you are looking for jobs you and you can't even know whether your right job is waiting for you. If your children begin to pray the prayer of Jabez for you, God will open up favors into your life. It will surround you like a shield. And whatever you are believing God for the family, for the sake of your children. Because when you are unemployed, it affects your children. They, you can't give them money for schooling. You can't put bread on the table. They, you can't buy their, their, their dress and stuff they need. And they are going to also express their poverty and the stress in their, in their lives. For the sake of the children, teach them the prayer of Jabez and see how God will begin to divinely come. This is divine revelation. It is not for everybody. It is for only those who will key into this revelation and see how God will bless you. And this is the prayer of Jabez that you teach it to your children. For the children, their children. So break it down simply. The prayer of Jabez, I'm going to break it up, break it down for you and you teach them. The first part of the prayer is that God bless me and bless me indeed. God bless me and bless me indeed. So all your children will do, whether middle school, whether high school, whether kindergarten, once your children can pray and can talk, if they, are, they can watch all the movies and watch all the cartoons and be able to talk it, then you can teach them. They will learn it and begin to pray it and God will answer them. So a simple prayer. They wake up in the morning. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless mommy and bless her indeed. Bless mommy and bless her job. Bless mommy and bless their, our family. Bless mommy and bless everything she does. Bless mommy and bless her indeed. Bless daddy and bless his job. Bless daddy and bless the works of his hands. Bless daddy, bless his going out and coming in. Simple praise. Bless me and bless me indeed. They are just telling God to bless you and bless you indeed. They should, God should bless daddy's job. God should bless the wife of daddy's hands. God should bless your going out and coming in. And see if the Lord will not bless you. The second prayer. So bless me and bless me indeed. The second part is, Lord, that you may enlarge daddy's territory. That you enlarge mommy's territory. That you enlarge their finances. That you enlarge their prosperity. That you enlarge them, even in Jesus' name. That the Lord will cause you to be fruitful and multiply. Father God, make them fruitful. Make them prosper. Make them to multiply. Let them be able to put bread on the table. Father, supply for them. Simple prayers. I want you to teach them according to their age. Then the next one. God, may your hand be upon mommy. God, may your hand be upon daddy. May you protect their jobs. May you protect their health. May you protect their going out and coming in. Protect them from the enemy simple prayers. These are all prayers. And then, that God, you may take away disappointment. You shall take away frustration and pain from the family in Jesus' name. And the last one, that God, you may bless them to be a blessing. You may bless them to be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. So you see, when you teach this to your children and they begin to pray it day every morning before they go to school and before they go to bed, you will see that thing and they do it in faith God will begin to visit your home 
to the prayer of Jabez for the children. They wake up in the morning. Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning. I pray right now, thanking you for my life. I thank you that Father God, I thank you for mommy's life, daddy's life. I pray that you bless mommy and bless her indeed. I pray that you bless daddy and bless him indeed. Bless the works of his hands. Bless everything that he does. Let them prosper. Let them break through in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I pray that God, you, you may enlarge their territory. You may enlarge their work. You may enlarge their education. You may enlarge everything that they do. You may make them fruitful. You may let them to prosper even in Jesus' name. Lord God Almighty, let your hand be upon them. Let your hand be upon them. Let goodness and mercy follow them. Even in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, take away pain. Take away disappointment. Take away rejection. Take away frustration from this family. In the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus Christ, bless us, this family, to be a blessing. In Jesus' name. And supply all our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is the simple Jabez praise. Teach it to your children. Break it down according to their age. Simplicity. And let them begin to pray. And the Bible says, And God heard the voice of the Lord. God will hear them and answer their prayers. And it will affect your destiny. In Jesus' name. If you believe, it will work for you. Amen.